Since so many people have asked, I'm doing a grill video on my Lexus IS350. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here's my 2007 Lexus IS350. I just got a 2014 Toyota 4Runner and I did a video reveal on that, so check that one out. It's the previous video from this. Fall is here, winter's coming, it's dark, the days are getting shorter. I'm doing this after work, actually. I just wanted to make this video for everybody. So I got the 4Runner, I'm really enjoying it, but I didn't forget about the IS350, and I'm doing a grill video since so many people ask me what grill you're running, and I'll include a little bit about the Lit 2, even though I did a separate video on that, so you can check that one out. So here's my 2007 Lexus IS350, and this is the grill everybody's been asking about. So this is the grill I use, it's made by Icon Motorsports. They make a couple different things, like the, the uh, grill surround. This is actually an aftermarket painted one, the fitment isn't exact, but it fits in there. I mean, it, it doesn't clip in. Alternatively, you can paint your stock uh, chrome one. You can just sand it down and paint it black. But I really like the black plastic of this, minus the fitment issues I've had since I got it. Like I said, this is the Icon Motorsports grill. Um, it's just a company, and it, it looks like the ISF design, which is, is why it looks so cool and just unique and sporty. It's a different design than the bottom one, but it's still really nice. Um, of course, what you have to do to install this is, of course, take your engine covers off. I just have one clip holding this in, but once you take the clips off, you can see it's just held on by clips and screws. You take those off and the whole thing comes off. This bezel and this grill, they're two separate pieces. So you have to order them separate, the bezel and the grill. I'll try to include a link for this, but I, I did get it on eBay and I had a hard time finding it again, unfortunately but this is available on Icon Motorsports website, so I'll put some links down in the description and you can buy it from wherever you'd like. I've seen them on eBay, Amazon, their website, everything like that, they're all about the same price, in the $40 to $50 range. So what you do is take the emblem off your stock grill and you kind of pry it off, and then I used really thin 3M tape and I kind of put it on the back of this emblem, cut it as best as I could, and then I stuck it onto here. As you can see, it's not coming off. So that's really it. It's the bezel, the grill, you swap the logo and there's a centerpiece you put in there for support of the L. I really like it. Makes it look a lot sportier and aggressive. So that's the grill I have, but I ordered this thinking I would like it and I wasn't as much of a fan. But the blank grill. So this fits the same way, has the same mounting points. Uh, it kind of goes from in from behind the bezel. So you kind of want to put it in the bezel, then install it all, click it into place. With these aftermarket ones, it takes a little bit of uh, you know, messing around with to get right. I think I did use some clips and zip ties on here just to get like the fitment how I wanted it. Unfortunately, that's how it goes sometimes, but it does look really good from far away and it, and it works. It's not, it's not really impeding the looks or anything of the vehicle. It's not, you know, gonna fall off and it's still on there. But this is how this one looked, if you can imagine it. It just looked really blank. Some people like that look and some don't. These are about the same price. Uh, so you can go logo or blank. I'll try to include links for this as well. I think I actually got it on the same place, same brand, Icon Motorsports. So yeah, hopefully that answers all of the grill questions that I've been getting. Just a quick video to kind of tell you what it is if you want to get one for your car. And I did a video of the lip as well, and I'll link that here. Uh, it's a Magic Drift lip, Icon Motorsports makes the same one, the same company that makes the grill, they make the same, they're probably made by the same people and just marketed by different companies, honestly. But yeah, it's just, it's just clips and zip ties and everything like that and it stays on pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it falling off and now that I have the 4Runner, I don't have to drive this in the winter and risk it. I had the same lip last winter and I lost it due to some ice, unfortunately. It wasn't a fun time and you know, these are about a hundred bucks, so a hundred bucks plus paint and the time to install it, it just sucks when it rips off in the snow. But that's it for the grill. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you enjoyed it and it did help you out, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to Marty Motoring. Follow me on Instagram, at Marty Motoring. And as always, leave a little rubber on the road.